What's up, sexy motherfuckers? This is Trevor Moran, and uh, today I'm here with the one and only Sam Potter. The one and only, the iconic daddy of my life! Okay, so last week uh, with Ricky, I did reacting to shock porn. So I wanted to bring back the sexual mood. So I thought I'd bring another fallen O12 member and scar them. Alright, great. So today I thought it'd be an amazing idea if we would read O2L uh, Dirty Imagines and fan fictions, uh, like gay fan fictions, talking about us like penetrating each other and like good like fun stuff, you know? Okay, so this one is called uh, Rickian and it's a uh, gay love story, I believe. Um, so I'm ready to uh, get shook to the core. <laughs> so we kind of scanned this before we started and we didn't read much, but basically uh, it's this girl who's in a relationship with uh, Ricky, likely, no. Um, but, but anyways, like, they start, like, you just, it, shit gets weird. You just gotta yeah. listen. So here we go. Here we go! <clears throat> Ricky and I have been dating for almost three months. He's such a great boyfriend and wonderful in bed. It was a casual Saturday, and Ricky and I were just hanging out around the O2L house. Connor had to go on a long run. JC was visiting family in Texas. Mm -hmm. Sam and Trevor were coming in a few hours. Yeah? Coming where? On each other. And Kean was out with Andrea. So Ricky and I had the place to ourselves. Since it didn't happen often, we took advantage of it. At first we were just making out on the couch while some fucking random cartoon was playing on the TV. Things started to get heated and Ricky was starting to feel around. His hands found my chest and he started massaging my tits. I started tugging on the hem of his shirt, hinting to take it off, but instead he grabbed my waist, lifted me in the air, and carried me to the stairs. It surprised me, <laughs> causing me to giggle. Ricky smiles, paid attention with the steps of the stairs. When we reached to the door, I pushed it open for us. He walked in and I turned from him to shut it. After I shut the door, he continues to kiss me, pushing me up against the door. Hot, but like, likely, no. Ah! Taking me away from the wall, Ricky dropped me, nicely, on his maid bed without stopping a kiss. On his maid bed, that is never gonna happen. That is never happened. Like, bitch, there's a Pikachu, like, scattered around somewhere. Later, his shirt came off, revealing his beautiful muscles that left me wanting more. He lied on top of me, almost in a push-up position while I started taking off my shirt. Ricky helped me along the way, immediately kissing my neck, slowly down to my tits. <laughs> I started to feel something. I started to feel something hard push up against my thigh, cueing me to unbutton his shorts. While I was unbuttoning, Ricky whispered into my ear, Are you sure you want to do this? We've only done it a couple times and I don't really want to pressure you. You nod into his chest. Slide off his shorts. Ricky starts to unclip your bra and slowly takes it off. He throws it onto the floor and starts massaging your breasts on him. It feels so good. You need him right now and all this teasing is too hard. Ricky ripped off his pickled pattern boxers. Ricky takes a hint and takes off your yellow lacy underwear and then slides a finger into your moistness. You can't touch me and say that. <laughs> you can't. Slide the finger into your moistness. That sounds like something like, your, your majesty. <laughs> like, like, um, here's your food, your moistness. Wait, <laughs> your moistness. More, Ricky, more, I shout. He adds two more fingers, adding a total of three fingers. She can count. Fucking quit the math. He slowly, Pumps them in and out, picking the speed as time goes on. Right as the tip of his beautiful Kelvin touches your walls, walls. Kian barges in. I uh, see if if I was younger and I read these, I would probably be gay. <laughs> bitch, aren't you? Because this is <laughs> this is terrifying. Kian barges in. Oh, is all he says, and then immediately takes off all of his clothes. Heads up, Calvin is um. Like a name of a dick. Great. Th yeah, they're using the word Calvin as a dick. Kian, he now lays his Calvin near your face. Feeling Kian's Calvin close to your face, you grasp it and suck the tip, swirling it around. How do you swirl it around? Bitch, <laughs> that's everything. Ricky enters me and pushes my hips into him. You guys move in sync. Baby, bye, bye, bye. All right. <laughs> right when you can't hold it anymore, Kian sits next to Ricky and starts pumping into him. Can we just imagine this? Me getting annihilated by Ricky while Ricky gets obliterated by Kian. I'm going to, right when, right then, you let out your liquids and so do the boys. 
All the liquids feel so good. Feeling hot and jelly and sticky. You collapse on the bed! Panting. Nice work, says Ricky. Didn't know you were gonna join us, Kian. Nice work. Kian says, I dropped off Andrea and heard noises up here, so I came to see what all the noise was about. I was horny, so I hope you don't mind. It's okay, me and Ricky stay together. After that, Kian leaves me and Ricky to cuddle together, soon falling asleep in each other's arms. Thank you for the help, Kian. Like, if you're watching, it's like, Dad. All right, so this next one is a gay love fan fiction, sex fiction, whatever, about uh, this very one right here, and our good friend JC Kalen. Uh, to the perverted fuck who wrote this, I love you so much. <laughs> this brings so much joy, and I cannot wait to hear the words that come out of Mr. Samuel Potter's fucking mouth. And I want to, I want to see effort, you know. All right, all right. JC, please don't be like this. Sam pleaded. Sam tried to touch JC, but JC pushed Sam's hand away. Sam got up from the bed, and his head felt lightheaded. His eyes twitched, and he mumbled, JC. <laughs> Are they drunk? <laughs> Living. JC. <laughs> <laughs> me. And everything went black, and the last thing he heard was thud on the floor. Wait, what? Did I, he kill you? I hit the floor. I don't know. <laughs> me. JC, don't stop. Fuck. <laughs> Bitch, you said it, not me. Continue. JC thrust it deeper at Sam. <laughs> okay, Rich, continue. Sam buried his head into the pillow, and JC kissed his neck. Oh. How did they end up like this? Sam was cold. JC was cold. They needed to warm up. That was it? I needed to warm up, and JC needed to warm up, so we fucked. I fucking love it when you're like this, JC said. <laughs> I love it when you're this rough with me. Bite me, baby. Sam moaned out, and JC bit Sam on his shoulder, and Sam threw his head back. Uh, <laughs> like that. Uh. Yes, oh fuck, I'm gonna, Sam said. I love oh, it. My I'm God, here. I hate I've arrived. everything. This I is so embarrassing, and it's like a story. It's a random ass story. <laughs> The two reached their climaxes and JC collapsed on Sam and they breathed it. He collapsed on you! And they breathed deeply, attempting to catch their breath. <laughs> Me. <gasps> JC rolled off of Sam and Sam cuddled up to JC. Oh. Justin! JC automatically looked at Sam. When Sam would say Justin, he knows something is wrong. True. I hope you know that me and you are not just fuck buddies, Sam said. I know, JC said. I would love a relationship, Sam said. But you have to treat me like a prince. I would like some dates and whatnot. Baby, I will. You wanna go to Panera, JC? HOLY FUCK! I fucking can't! You wanna go to Panera? Like, might as well throw in like Arizona tea and like Sour Patch Kids, you know? And Penny Boards and Taco Bell. God, we were so terrible. We were horrible. Like, we... I can't believe Taco Bell never paid us. Yeah! We did so much for them, like, they never paid us. This one's called O2L Sex Slave. Hi! I'm Caroline, or Kara as my mom likes to call me. I am 20 years old and I don't have a job, a boyfriend, or a fucking life. My mom was very poor and it stayed like that until, well, you'll just find out. Fucking best intro ever. Wow. So Sam's gonna be the mom and I'm gonna be Kara. Kara, can you come down the stairs please? Yeah, mom, hold on. I walk downstairs to see six young boys about my age standing in the house. Mom, who are they? Honey, these boys are here to buy you. Bitch, me. What? Why would they buy me? Honey, I sold you so I could have a better life. Wow, what a bitch ass mom. <laughs> the guys just sat there in silence and looked at me. I guess since they bought me, I was moving away, so I packed my fucking bags and I walked out that goddamn door without saying bye to my mom. She's just a drama queen that worries about herself and pops Xanaxes and her Prino Grigio. <laughs> he made that up. I know, I did. This one's called Kian Lolly, held down. You're sitting on the couch with Ricky and Kian, watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Okay, that's Ricky's choice. <laughs> JC and Leah are out for the night, which just leaves you three. They're cuddling in Kian's arms, but he starts to get a little touchy. You give him a look, indicating him to stop because Ricky's in the room. His lips brush against your ear, whispering, We gotta take it to the bedroom then. Ooh, we gotta take it to the bedroom, fuck. Where are you guys going? You hear Ricky call after you both. You begin, but was cut off by Kian slamming you against the wall and covering your mouth with his hand. He picks you up, tossing you on the bed before hovering over you. He leans down and kisses you again, taking off your pants as he does so. You grab at his bed sheets as he slides two fingers inside of you. Oh my uh, with every pump of his fingers hitting your G spot. Uh, uh, sending uh. pleasure throughout your body. Ooh, electricity, bitch. You whine a little when he pulls out. Oh my god. Wait, I whine a little when he pulls out? Wait. Go like this, and pull up. Oh, come back. Oh. 
On the bed, he says, pointing at it. Okay. You do as he says. Yeah, master. He lies you down on your back before holding you down and slamming inside of you before you could adjust. Slamming? Before he could even adjust? Like His hand covers your mouth. I said, don't make a sound. I'm sorry. Each of his thrusts getting deeper and deeper, hitting your G-spot every single time. He pulls out of you and you sit up. Ride me, cowgirl, he growls. Okay. You climb on his lap, slowly sliding yourself down on him before bouncing up and down. His breath gets heavier and heavier until you feel the twitch sending his warm fluid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Until you A feel twitch. <laughs> A twitch. Who writes this? Who writes this? I'm done. I am done. I'm done. Here, take your, take your computer. I'm done. I didn't come here for this. I don't think you did come here for this. That was a lot. It was so good though. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm glad we went through that experience together. I'm not. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. We also did a video on Sam's channel uh, and we recreated uh, couples poses and uh, it gets a little heated as well over it's there. It's a little It's a little, little still. Um, I love you so much. Uh, make sure you check out my new music. It is in the bio of this video. Uh, thank you so much. I love you. Follow me on all my social medias. I'm gonna shut up now. You're the best. Love you guys. I love you. You're the best.